morning all my name is Ryan Jio from grade 6G today I'll demonstrate a very interesting experiment on how to make crystals throughout my life I've always admired the natural beauty of crystals here is some of my natural selections don't forget these are all natural and today we are going to make a crystal with just two ingredients that is water and aluminium potassium sulfate also called as alum. So what is alum? Alum is a mineral found in nature in both impure and pure form. It is found in the alum and ore. It is a colorless crystalline mass or granular powder with a sweetish astringent flavor. So without any further delay, let us begin the experiment. Place a saucepan on the stove top and add a cup of water to it. Do this under parental guidance. I am going to add half a cup of alum powder to it. This is our alum powder which is commonly called as aluminium potassium sulphate. Alum is found in two forms, powder or crystal. I highly suggest you to use the powdered version of alum for this experiment. Stir the solution really well until all the alum is dissolved in the water. You can add more alum until you get a super saturated solution. Now the alum is completely dissolved and we have got a super saturated solution. Add your color of choice to the solution to make the crystal more beautiful and lustrous. Since my favorite color is blue, I have added blue food coloring to it. Now pour the solution into a glass jar with a wide open mouth and allow it to cool. You need the solution till 3 4 of the glass cup so the crystal can stay immersed in it. Our solution is ready. Our next step is to make an irregular surface so that the crystal can get clinked to that. For this I have two pipe cleaners and I am going to weave them into an irregular shape to make the crystal. You can also use artificial flowers and cotton balls instead of pipe cleaners to get the shape accordingly. Our framework is ready. Now I am going to tie a piece of thread onto the framework so that I can hang it inside the glass jar. I am going to tie this to a pencil for support. You can also use a skewer. My solution has become lukewarm and I'm going to immerse my framework into it. Make sure that your framework is completely immersed into the solution or else there will be blank spaces in between your crystal. Now keep it in a dark and cool room without any disturbance for 16 to 20 hours. After 10 hours, this is how my crystal looked like. Isn't it surprising? Can you see the tiny alum crystals clinging onto the framework? But believe me, the end results are worth waiting for. Out of curiosity, I kept it undisturbed for two more days. And this is what I found. My alum crystal has grown remarkably big. Can you believe this? What a natural luster and shape it has got. The edges are so, so sharp and it gives a natural luster to it. And I am absolutely in love with this crystal. I really wanted to experiment this in a different way with a seed crystal. This is the result I obtained by leaving the super saturated solution in a flat plate overnight. Select a remarkably big crystal tied to a string and immerse it in the saturated solution. And here is the result I obtained as time passed by. See this really beautiful single block of crystal? Although this is an alum crystal, the texture and finish of this crystal is different from the previous one. So how was it experimenting with alum? Were you surprised? So this is what my end result looked like. Hope you all enjoyed this experiment. Thank you and goodbye.